Hello, I'm Darrell Goodman, Director at Achieve It Solutions. Today, we're going to have a feature-focused presentation on how you can rank your inventory, remove dead stock, and get value out of your low-moving items using SAP Business One 9.2 and HANA with Resolve. Here, I'm logged in and I'm able to see my dashboard in which SAP Business One presents information about my inventory turnover, best-selling items, vendors. This is customizable to my user. I'll start by going into my item master and I'll search for my Simply Apple Juice. Having found the item, I can simply click to see the information about how my item performs. Resolve Inventory Planning can automatically identify movement classes. Movement classes help identify your products from your best selling items, movement class 1, to your least selling items, movement class 13, based on their relative sales and cost of goods sold. Movement class 14 is for products that you don't yet have enough information to determine their sales. This can be used as a key point in being able to determine how much product you should hold, when you have a surplus, where to place the material in your warehouse to ensure efficient picking process, and is used to help determine forecasting and usage. We can look at the usage over time to be able to determine how many units we've sold over different periods of time, looking at the forecasts to be able to determine what our forecasts will be going forward, and by being able to use this to help identify the appropriate formula that we could use to plan this product. As you can see here, SAP Business One with Resolve automatically is able to evaluate your total sales for the warehouse and is able to determine what the appropriate ranking is going to be. Here you can see this Sony TV used to be a relatively good seller at movement class seven, but its performance has increased and it is now a, a movement class four product. This means that we may need to carry more of the product, we may need to move it closer to our shipping locations, and it will affect our planning. Similarly, you can see here that this particular dress pants is becoming less of a contributor to our sales. It's now moved from movement class 10, a relatively low performer, all the way down to movement class 12, almost indicating dead stock. Once again, looking at the apple juice, you can see here that the information we saw in planning your inventory is used to help us determine the appropriate ranking. So here you can see again all of that usage and it's able to determine the appropriate forecast to use, making a recommendation to help you plan accordingly. By using this information, SAP is able to determine a surplus report, identifying products that you're carrying too much of, which you may want to use in order to determine what products you can create marketing campaigns on, might be able to do a sale in order to be able to discount the price to remove the inventory, or make consider donating or otherwise removing from your inventory if it's truly unusable stock. In this case, we filtered on an item group for consumer electronics, and you can see it's identified 26 products. It tells me my on-hand and available quantity, how many I am supposed to be maintaining based on the new formulas, and what the surplus and the value of my surplus will be. This information, again, is very useful to ensure that I am maximizing my investment in warehouse by keeping only products and the quantity of products that are expected to sell, while at the same time being able to use the data dynamically to rank the products and determine which stock is going to be dead stock. I hope you have seen how you can use Resolve for SAP Business One 9.2 to help you automatically manage your stock, identify products based on their contribution to sales, and be able to move and identify dead stock and create value from your surplus. If you have any questions or would like more information, please visit us at www.achievits.com. Thank you.